Muti, Wikipedia article audio. Muti is a term for traditional medicine in southern Africa as far north as Lake Tanganyika. In South African English, the word Muti is derived from the Zulu word Umathai, meaning tree, whose root is THI. In Southern Africa, cognates of the word Umathai is in widespread use in most indigenous African languages as well as in South African English and Afrikaans, which sometimes use it as a slang word for medicine in general. Traditional Medicine Linguistics Colloquial use The use of Isakakathai in the Eastern Cape Isakakathai for prenatal and postnatal care Other traditional medicine used by pregnant women The use of Isakakathai on the baby Other traditional medicine used on babies Muti killings African traditional medicine makes use of various natural products, many derived from trees and other plants. Botanical medicine prescribed by an inyanga or herbal healer is generally known as muti, but the term can apply to other traditional medical formulations, including those that are zoological or mineral in composition. Vulture brains are used for prophecy in muti. This noun is of the umu slash imi class so the singular is umithai and the plural is imithai. Since the pronunciation of the initial vowel of this class is unstressed, the singular is sometimes pronounced muthi. The word is rendered as muti by the historical effects of the British colonial spelling. In colloquial English and Afrikaans the word muti is often used to refer to medicines in general or medicines that have a miraculous effect, e.g. Isakakathai is a term that is used by Kosa people when referring to plants with major pharmacological and therapeutic properties that are used as medicine for various ailments. The people in the Eastern Cape of South Africa still strongly rely on traditional medicine and believe in its potency as an alternative to Western medicine. There are various herbs that fall under Isakakathai, used for prenatal and postnatal medicine. The plants that fall under the Isakakathai category differ according to the districts in the Eastern Cape, hence, it is a general term used when referring to traditional medicine. There are 11 species of plants that fall under Isakakathai, namely Comamelina africana, Agapanthus, Chlorophytum comosum, Ledburia, Ranunculus multifidus, Thunbergia atriplicifolia, Cohosha amatimbica, Plantago major, Gazania linearis, Helichrysum pedunculatum, and Senecio coronatus. The use of these plants differs according to the various areas slash districts of the Eastern Cape. The Comamelina africana is used for menstrual problems, pelvic pains, and bladder-related issues. Agapanthus is found in prenatal and postnatal medicine, which is used by pregnant women. Chlorophytum comosum is used as a protective charm against evil spirits for both mother and child. Ledburia is used for medicinal purposes, including pregnancy, diarrhea, influenza, backaches, skin irritations, and wounds. Ranunculus multifidus is used to cure epileptic fits in adults, lung problems, and used as an emetic. Cohosha amatimbica is also used as an emetic. Plantago major is used as a cure for wounds inflammations and eye irritations. Gazania linearis is applied on small cuts made on the body close to the joints to protect someone from evil spirits. Helichrysum pedunculatum is used as a dressing after circumcision and to prevent the wound from getting septic. Senecio coronatus is used to get rid of pubic lice. Generally, Isakakathai or plants that are regarded to fall under Isakakathai are mostly used by pregnant women and children. Thus, 
it is also used as a protective measure against sorcery during pregnancy. Agapanthus precox is one of the plants that falls under Isacacathi used during pregnancy. It is taken orally from the six month of pregnancy until delivery. The plant is put in a container full of water and half a cup of that water is taken orally, twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. It is believed that the plant's growth determines the health of the unborn baby. The wilting of the plant is regarded as a symbol with regards to the baby's health, usually associated with death. Isaacacathi is widely used to induce easy childbirth. It ensures that excess water is drained, reduces vaginal discharge and placental size. The plants treat high blood pressure in both antenatal and postnatal care for women, whilst also preventing constipation. Roisasus titantata is used to induce labor, its root can be used to prepare an enema. Erythrina lysistemon is used to induce labor pains during the childbirth process via pieces of the trunk's bark bound together and infused for the woman to drink. The crushed bulb of Gunnera perpensa is used to reduce swelling of the feet by infusing with boiling water and ingesting. Salvia scabra, mixed with the mother's milk, is given as medicine to infants. The mixture is given to the baby to ingest for two months every day. Isaacacathi is generally used to induce growth and prevent diseases. It is also used as an alternative to the mother's milk and to counteract the milk's sourness. The use of Agapanthus precox ensures that the baby is strong, whilst preventing bowel problems and crusts on its head. An ointment is used to hasten the parturition of the baby and placenta using the leaves of Scutia midina. Erythrina humina is used to heal the umbilical cord of the baby by burning the bark and using the powder to apply on the baby. Occasions of murder and mutilation associated with some traditional cultural practices in South Africa are also termed mutie killings. More correctly known as medicine murder, these are not human sacrifice in a religious sense but rather involve the murder of someone in order to excise body parts for incorporation as ingredients into medicine and concoctions used in witchcraft. In February 2010, Deputy Provincial Commissioner William Bembe of the South African Police Service in Northwest Province said that mutie murders, particularly those involving young children, seem to be on the rise in the Chawain areas including Sa Shanguva, Garangkuwa and Ryatgat that same month, African traditional healers and the Gauteng government convened at a seminar in Pretoria, South Africa to root out the evil practice of mutilating human bodies for purposes of mutie making. Die Dr. Het Muti op die Seer Plek Jesmeer and Divulgent Dag was did heal Tamal Gassand. My Dr. Het Veer My Muti Verskoff Veer My Seer Keel.